Hello and uh, welcome to Mark Sussex Allotment, episode 21. Um, just a quick update of the plot. Um, so there's still nothing in these bottom two beds yet, but there's going to be some squashes and other bits and bobs in this soon. Uh, we've got potatoes in that row, Desiree and Sarpa Mira. In this one we have Charlotte and they're just starting to stick their heads through, as you'll see there, and along the row. So that's good. There's some uh, late forecast in frost this week, so I'll have to probably wrap them up later. In this one we've got Kestrel, and again they're just starting to just starting to break through. Um, up the top we've got Rocket, and these are by far doing the, the, the most at this stage. They're all all through, in fact. Every single one sticking its head through, so Rocket looked like they are certainly very fast. Um, okay, up onto the main plot. What a beautiful morning. It's uh, Thursday the 17th of April. Now, I've had enough of these beds, so what I'm going to do today, and you can see it as it is now, I'm going to do an Ian Nocton. <laughs> and I'm going to make raised beds all along here. I'm not going to do them as tall as, uh, as Ian because I can't afford all the materials. But I did get £90 birthday money from my family. So I bought a load of decking board, similar to this, but it's a little bit taller. Um, and this, this top part's all going to be raised beds. So I'm going to do that all day today. And I'll do a quick video later with an update how that looks. Um, asparagus, doing really well. <coughs> um, a, a mix of sort of a thicker stems and, and younger ones because there's a mix of um, some ones that I transplanted from a different area in here. Uh, I'm not picking again because it's only the second year, so I'm going to let these all run to fern and um, hopefully take a crop next year. Um, not much to see on the onions. They're, they've done a bit better since the debris netting come off, so they're all getting a little bit taller and they all look to be reasonably healthy. But um, it's probably not warm enough yet for them to sort of really kick into action, but they're all there, so that's a good thing. Um, Swift have broken through on on this one here, so the potatoes going through, I'll earth them up as well. Uh, and the shallots are all up now. There was a few that I was a bit worried about, but they've all come through. Um, the, I don't know if I mentioned before, but I have Jerusalem artichoke under here, and they're all coming through now. So it's not a bit of barren land, there's actually something living in there. So they'll turn into the big nice sunflowery things later in the season. Blotty beans that are outside look the same as they did two weeks ago when I planted them, so maybe it's just not warm enough for them yet, I don't know. Um, this rhubarb's doing really well, the other one's not moving at all, so I've stuck something over it and tried to force it. I've no idea what's wrong with it, but I'll try anything at this stage. Uh, the strawberries are doing really well, so some of them are flowering inside the polytunnel, I'll show you in a sec. Um, there's all my wood. For growing, uh, making the, the raised beds later. Here's the garlic, which is doing okay. Uh, a load more manure bags that I had delivered from my family. Uh, there's a fence I'm going to put down the bottom plot and I'm going to put around the side of the squash um, bed so that I can have it as a bit of a windbreak. Uh, into the tunnel. Everything's going crazy in here, as I said last time. Uh, Beetroot is coming up nicely. The cabbages that I transplanted, the seedlings are doing really well now in their new pots. The radishes that I sowed about a week ago are all up. They are super fast though anyway. Uh, cabbages, not an amazing germination rate there, but I've got a set of seven out of 10. Uh, the courgettes, so they're just starting to break through. All of the sweet corn, which I was really worried about, has come through. 100% uh, germination on the Swede. Uh, what have we got here? More courgettes, they're all up. The kale hasn't taken particularly well in its newer new, uh, pots, but they have, were chewed up by bits and bobs of slugs and things. So. It'll probably take a while to get going again. Uh, what else we've got? Some beans, some more beans all up. A couple of tomato plants there. Uh, celeriac, which hasn't broken through yet. Uh, sweet peas, which are just starting to break through. You can just see there. Take them home for the house. My wife will be very happy with those. Uh, some leeks. Nasturtium, which hasn't come through yet. The peas need, really, really still need planting. They're all about four or five inches high now. Um, but they look okay. They're not sort of wilting yet. Or, Looks like they've got lower leaf damage or anything, so that's, that's pretty good. Uh, Crown Prince squash is coming through. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, Rudbeckia, some lovely plants for the garden at home. There's more parsnips I've tried in the, these root runner sort of things, but they still haven't come through yet. But they are slow germinators. Um, we've got lupins, nothing's through there, and uh, more lupins, so I'm waiting for those to come through. And the melons have just broken through there. My salad tray, which is almost getting ready for a first pick. Carrots that I sowed back in February, loads more tomatoes, 
it's all about five six inches high now celery uh, there's some cucumbers in there as well more tomatoes uh, another carrot so I saved the other day they're just starting to break through see a couple there <coughs> potatoes are doing really well all the beds potatoes are doing well so we should open up and flower soon it's been about 10 weeks so it can't be far off harvesting but I will give it until probably about the middle of May to be honest uh, the blotty beans that I soon as again they haven't moved either but they are putting on new leaves so they must be okay some what have I got in there some cabbages haven't come through yet some cabbages that I transplanted that are doing well <coughs> um, some chard which needs transplanting desperately another sort of salad tray over here which has got some um, mustard and spinach and bits and bobs in it and some beetroot that I popped in here because I'm gonna have a chili plant in the middle where the tray is at the moment so I thought I'd grow some stuff around it and make use of all the available space uh, and strawberries in here so I'll just move those scissors out of the way yeah so there's strawberries in here which are starting to flower as are the ones up here so and we should have some strawberries in here soon uh, and I've got more courgettes stuff germinating here chives and cucumber which haven't come through yet but this shouldn't be far away yeah so that's it for me today I will do an update later on what the uh, uh, raised beds look like so um thanks for watching take care bye bye